Hi hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about ways to, little tricks to multiply large numbers in your head without having to use a calculator. Now I've started out with a couple examples here. We'll look at 17 times 18. <clears throat> My favorite way to multiply two numbers like this is to kind of round up to an, a known number, like say we round up 18 to 20, for example. And I'm just gonna say, pretend this is 17 times 20. And the way you do that is you would do two times 17, that's 34, and then add a zero. So we're pretending that we have 17 times 20. We actually have 17 times 18. So all you're gonna do now is say, well, we had an 18, not a 20. So I'm gonna take basically two off of this times that 17 and say, we're gonna take away two times 17, that's 34, and it's gonna be 306 right there. So what I did, I rounded this up to an even number, like 20, did 20 times 17, basically that's two times 17, 34 out of zero. And then because I added eight, two to 18 to make it 20, I said, well, we actually don't have two times 17, so it took off 34. Let's do that right here. Um, so again, you can choose to either bring this down to 20 or bring this down to 30, uh, whatever. So, uh, I'll just bring this down to 30. We're gonna pretend this is 22 times 30. The way you do 22 times 30 is you do three times 22, 66, and then add your zero, because you didn't have that zero. So 660, we didn't actually have 30, we had 31. So we're gonna take one times 22 and add it, 682, no problem. Let's do one like this, 120 times 13. So first thing is I'm gonna just take off the zero and do 12 times 13 like that. And if we take off the zero now, we can add it back in later at the end to our answer. Uh, so 12 times 13, let's pretend this is uh, uh, 10 times 13, which is, 130, um, and uh, we took the 12 down to a 10, so we've got to remember there are two we forgot. Uh, so two times 13 is plus 26. That's gonna be 156, and don't forget we took off that zero, so we're gonna have 1560 there as my product. Uh, so that's a, kind of some a, a couple of easy tricks to, to get you going. Let me show you one more. Um, Say you want, let me just give you a word problem. Say you want to convert your weight from pounds to kilograms. So one pound um, or one kilogram, do this, is 2.2 pounds. So if you are a, say 180, uh, say you have, a, well, we'll do 80 kilograms to pounds. Uh, so I've got to basically multiply 80 times 2.2 to get pounds. Uh, so I'm going to pretend we got 80 times 2. That's 160. And notice how 2.2 is 10% more than 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 160 and just up by 10%. Now 10% of 160, a tenth of that is 16, so that's gonna be 176 pounds. So, you know, if you know that your number is a nice easy percentage above a known number, like 2.2 .2 is 10% more than two, and that's another strategy you can use to kind of easily, uh, you know, do the multiplication with no calculator at all. I hope this helps you out guys, we'll see you soon.